Trello makes it very easy to search for contents. So in order to search for content, you might usually go over here onto the top where there is a search bar. So you go over here and type in, let's say for example, type in something like scene right over here. And once I do that, everything with the word scene on it shows up right here. So that's one way to search uh, for cards. So you can show more cards as well. And this search is for multiple boards. So let's say for example, if I were to do something like test, so if I were to type in something like test, and go around over here, then it'll show up all the cards and board one. And even over here, there's like uh, on design sprint. So other boards are shown over here as well. So just like this, it shows up all of the cards now on every board. Similarly, if you can do a more narrow search onto the board itself and the results are much more uh, um, like let's say visual in this case. So you can go over here onto the show so menu for that. And once you go on to the show menu, there's like sets cards feature right here. So once you go inside, you can see that you can set it uh, with the uh, with the filter, which is applied right here. You can set it with the member name. You can set it with due date and so forth. So you can set for different cases just like this. So let's say, for example, if you just want to set for contents that are completed, just click on completed and only the ones which are completed will show up. You can go into in progress and in progress will show up. So if I were to disable this only in progress shows up. And if I were to say, uh, like uncheck that everything shows up. So if I were to go to revision required, only that shows up and so forth. So you can filter it out according to labels and you can go over here on to, uh, and show the ones without labels as well. So you can also show all the four labels and go around here. So just like this, you can search. So you can go over here and type in the search card as well. So let's say, for example, if you were to type complete, this shows up and you can select out from that as well. You can also go over here and sell and filter it out according to uh, the members. So if you were to go over here onto tutor tube, you can see that this is how it works like. So there's tutor tube and there's tutor tube two, as you can see. So if you were to go to tutor tube, uh, you can see that only uh, the users with tutor tube assigned is shown. Tutor tube two only uh, like the assignment for tutor tube two is shown. You can also go over here and select various filters like due in the next day. So that shows due next week, due next month and so forth, overdue and so forth. So if you have some sort of a due right over has no due date, it shows up everything just like this, as you can see. Due date marked as complete and not marked as complete. So similarly, you can just click and you can see that everything is quite visual. So matches any label and many member is checked out right here matches all label and all members. So if you were to check this all member is turned on just like this. This is the filter that you can choose as well. So similarly, you can if you have selected, let's say, for example, two things you want to restart the set that is clear up the search conditions. You simply go over here onto the clear set feature and click on it and everything will be restarted. So that is how you can search for cards and uh, uh, like in different ways that is to the search box on the top or you can go over here onto more menu and search for a specific card on the boards to make more visual to get a more visual result. So you can see that it's a very, very powerful tool. You can also do this. You can go on to more and let's say, for example, not more, but you can go on to search card. And let's say, for example, you want to search for cards that have the word scene in them. So I'm just going to type in scene just like this. And if you do that now, only the scene is displayed out as you can see. So only the cards with the word scene is there. So you can simply clear out the sets and the rest of the cards appear. So you can see that it's very powerful. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.